Randy, Oregon, located about 30 miles from downtown Portland, is blessed with beautiful mountain scenery. But unfortunately, its great location also leads to challenges when it comes to being connected to the outside world. In 2002, city officials had the vision to start their own internet service provider and offer affordable internet service to its residents. The result was SandyNet. Right off the bat, right off the beginning, uh, SandyNet was a huge success. Um, people wanted it, they were hungry for it. We had been um, a municipal ISP for quite some time, starting off with uh, DSL and wireless and outgrowing that technology. And so really the only next step for technology was to go to fiber. So in 2014, SandyNet partnered with OFS to bring high-speed fiber to Sandy's businesses and residents. They set some specific goals at the time that included deploying a future-proof fiber optic network, providing all neighborhoods with the same service, enabling residents the ability to access videos, e-learning, gaming, and government services, increasing Sandy's competitiveness to attract new business, and offering the city-owned network as a utility. And in the years since upgrading to a fiber optic network, how has Sandy done with meeting their goals? Well, Sandy's seeing some pretty unprecedented growth right now, both uh, on the residential side and a lot of commercial opportunities going forward as well. So I think SandyNet will continue to help lure people here and uh, increase our tax base, increase our residents, and increase the virtual learning environment that a lot of our students are partaking in right now. Over the course of the last six, seven years, um, during that time period, I've talked to a number of people uh, in Sandy who have purchased our recent homeowners who have moved here to the community and while it wasn't the sole decision that they made, um, the fact that gigabit fiber was available at their residence in a wired solution was the deciding factor for several people to buy a house in this community. Our company has just thrived with having that big fat fiber pipe. That's one of the things for us where we were always struggling with the amount of capacity that our previous internet service providers were giving to us. Now we don't have that problem anymore. We have overcapacity in a sense. We have enough to where people can you know, stream and listen to music while they're working, and we can still get all our work done, download the data that we need to, get it done in minutes, seconds, instead of an hour or two. Uh, we can upload stuff into our servers, into our, our clients' servers quickly. Uh, just all of that greatness that comes with having a, a really fast internet connection. It's a great asset to have. Uh, you know, we, we bill our SandyNet charges on the same utility bill that our water and sewer charges are on. So it's an easy uh, one payment a month to, to have this service that you know, is much more affordable than a lot of the other providers that are out, uh, both in our area and nationally. But back in 2014, when SandyNet was deploying fiber to try and make its network future-proof, no one could have foreseen what fiber would mean to not just the town, but the whole world in 2020. There was virtually no one whose life was not affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Having a high-speed fiber optic network became the difference between those who were able to keep pace with the world and those who were left wanting something better. It was amazing that we got our Sandy Net Fiber put in place when we did. It was built out to so many homes and had gone in front of 100% of the homes in Sandy. So those that didn't take it, if they wanted it, could get it. During that time, there was no rationing. We were in school one day and then everyone was at home the next day. Not just uh, students, but also people working from home. When you have a strand of fiber going to your house providing gigabit capacity, uh, it makes working from home very, very easy. And um, I think a lot of people um, have been very, very happy with the service that they've uh, gotten here in Sandy. From council meetings being held virtually to team meetings and other department meetings uh, at the administrative level, we were able to continue our operations pretty seamlessly with the help of SandyNet. During the pandemic, we did see an increase in speed upwards of 25% uh, across our overall uh, traffic patterns. Um, mostly uh, traffic did increase during the workday as people uh, started work at 6 o'clock and got off uh, after 6 p.m. Um, our network is designed to be able to load that. Our peak times um, typically from 6 p.m. upwards to 11 p.m. Uh, definitely uh, are double, uh, if not more, than uh, our daily traffic that we pass during the workday. And once the city of Sandy decided to go all in with fiber, who better to turn to than OFS? The industry-leading experts at OFS were able to design 
engineer and deploy a network that was easily able to meet all of Sandy's goals for a robust, future-proof network. And OFS is really able to combine a number of expertise with uh, the product solutions that are designed to work with the gigabit and 10 gigabit and 25 gigabit fiber to the home systems that are in development. Together with the services, we can integrate those together to provide a complete turnkey solution for fiber to the home to our customers. We have to thank OFS a lot for this here. We can't go out and buy a book on how to set up a fiber to the home network. It'd be a great book idea. Uh, a couple of them might actually exist, but you won't get that kind of level of working with people that have been in the industry for 30 some years and having a great team that has uh, worked on fiber to the home projects uh, in the past, has done all the heavy lifting, figured out all of the, the, the optical budget information, and then it can really come in and just provide this seamless solution and then turn out a great product. Sandy's been a fantastic success. We really appreciate all the opportunity from the city of Sandy for OFS and uh, a complete OFS product solution along with the design, the engineering, the build has provided the City of Sandy residents a great economic enhancement and quality of life improvement for decades to come. It would be a lot harder to differentiate Sandy from any other city of 12,000 people in Oregon. We still have many things that make us unique, but SandyNet really is the biggest one. And I think we'll have the most impact on our community over time. And we went from DSL to wireless to being so successful at it that we understood that we needed to take that next step and go to fiber. And it was the best thing we ever did was take it there. Our system is a grassroots system. We built it up from the bottom as a grassroots um, environment in that it was just a bunch of people like myself that really believed that this is easy to do and we did it.